Hello. Hi, Loki. Oh, he's a good boy. Hello, sir. Gonna be all right? Or do you need to go out? Loki, what do you want to do? Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to the Casual Puzzler. And I know right off the bat, I have a Loki inside and Oliver outside. Neither knew which direction of the door that they wanted to be on. So they've been playing together, but on opposite sides of the door. So that's what's going on behind me. I know you can't see them now, but that's, that's what's happening. Um, anyways, hello, welcome to a video about Wentworth puzzles. Oh my goodness. Wentworth puzzles is a wooden puzzle brand and they have beautiful images, a whole variety, and I have been eyeing them for years. I've never bit the bullet because they're on the pricier end of things because they're more like heirloom puzzles. They're made of wood. They're made with like a laser cut, which you see similar brands doing. But there's just something about those images and the quality of the pictures that you see that just seem like it's at like its own, I don't know, in my head it was like a standard that I was just like, oh my gosh, I'd love to try a Wentworth puzzle someday. So exciting things on my end is that I finally got my first paycheck with YouTube and I was excited about it. And of course I'm on my no by November, but I didn't think it counted if it meant that I bought it for my channel with the channel's money. So I ended up purchasing two wishlist items from Wentworth Puzzles and I, I'm so excited to share them with you today. I've already done them, I've already experienced them and oh my goodness, they are beautiful. So let's just go into the, that footage now because I cannot wait to share it with you the two puzzles that I got. The first one I did was Who's Decorating Snowman? which is this guy here. This one is 140 pieces, and then this one is Santa's Express, which is 250 pieces. So let's just go back in time. You can see me unboxing these and experiencing them for the first time, and we'll come back and discuss my thoughts and opinions. But spoiler, I loved them. So let's just get into it. So we are starting off with Who's Decorating Snowman? And it's by Larry Jones. And here is the box, super high quality cardboard. This one is 140 pieces, and then we can see the side. Just very classic. Love the colors of it. Here's the back. Um, it does say, inside this box you will find one of our premium quality j wooden jigsaw puzzles made entirely by us from the factory since 1991. And it looks like they have some sustainability practices here, um, like they don't use plastic, and I'm excited to see what's inside, so let's just open it up. All right, so instead of a plastic bag, they use a drawstring bag, which is actually really nice. I like this cord, but the colors look super nice. And then here we have a little thing about their personalized puzzles. So you can do ones for photos that you have. And then let's see, this is, and then this is a little blurb about how they increase the thickness of the wood. So it's now four millimeters versus their three. So it looks like they've increased their quality standards. And let's just open up the pieces because I just, I can't wait any longer. I will also say you can't smell it, but I love wooden puzzles because you have that burnt wood smell. And it's just like, I don't know, I like this, the scent of it. Um, but here is the pieces. So all of the other wooden puzzles I've done usually come like a whimsical cut, but I kind of like how this has more traditional cuts, um, which will make it a little bit easier than other wooden puzzles. By, um, and they also usually always have, I'll pick out a few of them, but they always have these interesting fun pieces. So there is a snowflake. I'm sure I'll find more. Oh, what's this one? Looks like it is an owl. So they have some fun, unique shapes, which it makes it really fun and interesting. I'm excited to find more of them. Here's one. Let's just do this puzzle. Super bright colors. This little bit about wooden puzzles is just really fun to put these guys in. Part of me wants to like try to see if I can do the puzzle and then put these in, in last. I think I'm gonna try to do that. Um, but let's just get started. I'm excited. <music>
was able to complete it without using the special pieces, which was a fun little challenge. I mean, it is only 140 pieces, so I was trying to prolong it as much as I could, so I think having this as like its own little separate challenge was fun. Anyways, now for the fun bit, I get to put these guys in. I'm gonna show you an up close while I'm doing this, just because this is absolutely beautiful. The colors are beautiful, the quality is lovely. I like that it's just normal cuts, you know, versus like the crazy whimsical ones that a lot of wooden puzzles do, but you still get like the fun pieces. So we're just gonna put these last little pieces in. Off my boy. Now don't you act so coy. Let us go and fill all the little children's hearts with joy. first smaller puzzle with 140 pieces. Took, took me about 25 minutes or so to do it. I'm not quite sure because I filmed it all in one go, but around 25 minutes. But oh, it was so much fun. I love how bright and colorful this is. And I love how sturdy it is. I can definitely see me doing this like multiple times throughout the holiday season. Or if I want to just hand it off to a friend, you know, it's just in such pristine condition. I am so excited for this. Anyways, now on to the larger one, which is 250 pieces, which is going to be twice the fun, and I'm in love with these. All right, so now I'm going into the 250 Santa Express puzzle. I'm just so excited for this one. I love the bright red in here. I'm not gonna do the same challenge as before. I'm just gonna try to do it, but I'm loving these so far. So let's just take a look. I'm sure the pieces are pretty much the same but maybe they're different sizes yeah pretty much the same looks like I can see a few special pieces like there's a Christmas tree and there is a train oh my gosh look at that piece a little train um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start this it just looks oh well, here's oh, a little M and a drum or a present Oh, there's a few letters. I wonder what it spells. Ooh. Yeah, I'm sure Dave's right. Probably spells Merry Christmas, but. Oh, here's another train. These are cute. Anyways, let's just get started. And the other special pieces, we have a the front of a train. We have Santa, wreath, a couple gifts, another Santa, but just his head, a couple trees, and then a snowflake, and my favorite, which is this guy here, the train. Um, so we are just gonna get into this. I'm not gonna film the whole thing, but I will show you what it looks like at the end. All right, here is the final image of this one. I love these so much. They're such high quality. Love the thickness of these puzzle pieces and the, hopefully you can see, but the fun pieces, the Merry Christmas is actually in order, which is so cute. Where's the Christmas part down here? C-H, you see it? Love it so much. All right, we are back. And as you saw, I really enjoyed myself with these puzzles. Yes, they're on the pricey side, but the quality and worksmanship is beautiful. 
The puzzles are so much fun. I love when I did the first one and I actually took out the fun pieces. Um, I think they call them their whimsical pieces because it was just an added challenge to try to do the puzzle without those in. And it just made it a little bit longer of a time than if I was just doing it as fast as possible. I really want to enjoy myself with these puzzles because they are pricey. I was really excited about them. And I was just kind of relaxed doing them while a uh, Christmas movie was on. So in general, I just had very cozy vibes and they're beautiful. I love the fact that they are plastic free. So they use a drawstring bag, which is really well made. Um, but then in general, there's no plastic packaging in their outside wrappers as well. So everything just comes with a, like an eco-conscious mind, which I personally love. This company is based in Britain and they are made in Britain, which is really cool. So this kind of goes in with my Around the World series, but for wooden puzzles. They have so many images to choose from. Now, I personally chose the Christmas puzzles because I'm thinking of these as like actual heirloom pieces. Now, I don't have anyone to pass them down to, but I could see these being a recurrence every season of maybe getting one extra to add to the collection. But in general, I'm just excited to do these ones again. So I'm actually going to be packing them away with our Christmas items. And that way they can stay there and be special for when I take them out next year. And I can do them again and experience them again. I'm already excited to do them again already. So these are definitely things that I'm going to be doing over and over. And you can tell that the quality can live up to that type of wear and tear and that type of overuse because sometimes with especially cardboard puzzles or puzzles with wooden uh, or puzzles with like a paper backing sometimes they just can't do them more than like five to seven times or they start to show wear and tear these things I feel like are made to last they're super thick they have increased the thickness to four millimeters versus three millimeters so it just feel nice and sturdy in your hand. The color is beautiful, super bright, very saturated. I really can't fault this brand at all. Now they are pricier, um, but if you're just wanting to experience them, they do have availability for smaller piece cones, which is why I did one of the 140, but they have even smaller than this, and it really depends on the image. I ended up just going with 140 and 250 just because I wanted more than one and with the price point I couldn't really justify getting like two of their larger piece counts but I was able to experience the brand and I'm so excited to have these like even though they are smaller piece counts it took a little bit longer than normal I mean this one did take me long at all let's just be real um, but having the extra challenge of not using these musical cuts again just made it a little bit more of a special moment but love the image of this guy and then Santa's Express was a little bit more challenging, but again, 250 pieces, didn't take me long at all. I love that it had the Merry Christmas as their whimsical letters, as well as a few others, but that was just super cute. Anyways, both of these I love. I'm so excited to experience more from the brand, but again, for me, I want to keep it a special moment. They have puzzles that are for all different types of seasons. I personally love the fact that I got them for the holidays so I can do them again next Christmas and the Christmas after that and the Christmas after that. And so I'm just excited to have them on hand finally. Oh my gosh, these, not that specifically these ones were on my wish list, but Wentworth puzzles in general for Christmas puzzle has been on my wish list for a while. So happy I did it, and I hope you enjoyed this video to see them up in close and personal. I know they're pricey, but if you can find one that you absolutely love and can see doing a lot, I can see that being like a worthwhile investment if it's going to be like an heirloom puzzle, or if you are someone who wants to experience a wooden puzzle, this is definitely a really great high quality brand to try. This would also be a great option as a gift as well. So if you have a puzzle in your life, you don't know what to get them for the holidays, or for a birthday or Mother's Day, you know, this is a great option because it's definitely something that for me, it was a splurge and it was it was definitely something I had to take a lot of thought into. And so I think giving this as a gift would be a great option. They also have options to make your own personal puzzles. So if you want to put your own picture in and create your own puzzle, they have that option too, which sounds amazing as well. It is something that I would be willing to do if you guys were interested. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.